Hey guys, Brian here with you again today from Raxus. I want to spend some time just a little bit uh, talking about vulnerability management. We see vulnerability management as probably our third most uh, critical finding or, or common finding that we see in environments over and over and over again. And what does that mean? Well, it's a big long word, but really it means knowing your exposures, being able to articulate those exposures, and being able to remediate them in a, in a cyclical manner, right? So there are processes and frameworks and tool sets for all that stuff, but it really is just about knowing your environment and knowing where your exposures are and managing that risk, okay? So let's talk about patching. In fact, patching is almost synonymous now with vulnerability management. In fact, when someone says vulnerability management, a lot of times they're just talking about patching. Patching is critical. I'll give you an example. Let's say we go into an environment for an assessment and we're being particularly loud on this assessment and we scan the network, right? We scan it with a, a custom or a purpose-built tool set that lets us find vulnerabilities on the network. Well, if the environment's patched, that's usually kind of a no-go. We may find stuff, but more, but more often we're not going to find anything that's really directly exploitable um, without a whole lot of effort. Now, if you don't have a patched environment, then that becomes very, very easy picking fruit. So we can go after machines. We can use... Uh, tool sets that are that are freely available to go after machines that are unpatched for things like uh, Blue Keep, for example, or Heartbleed. Uh, that's been around for a while. Uh, there's even an exploit that they gave birthday parties to called MSO8067. That thing's been around since 2008, and we still see it. We still see it. So, patching, patching. The other critical thing about patching, yes, it helps you keep a secure network, but in the event of a security incident, when you have an attack on your network, or you have Something like, for example, the, you guys may not remember, but a long time ago, the SQL Slammer worm was uh, an attack that had a lot of impact on companies, and not just because of its virulence and its ability to move around the environment, but because companies that were not current on patching, before they could apply that SQL Slammer patch, they had to get current. And that is not a quick process, because when you have to slam in 20 or 30 patches immediately, you're going to break stuff you're going to break a lot of things. And so the better, the better idea is to have the structured program that implements patches regularly on an ongoing basis that includes regression testing and, re and includes remediation tracking. So it's a, it's a program by which you manage your environment and you holistically raise the security posture of the entire environment. And vulnerability management doesn't have to just include technology assets. It can include administrative processes. It can include the physical premises of the building. There's all sorts of things where you identify risks and then you come up with ways to mitigate them and then track that mitigation, right? So vulnerability management, guys, if you don't have a program in place, call us. We can help you out. We can put those in place for you. We can help you with that. We have a lot of experience doing vulnerable stuff, a lot of it. So um, with that, uh, you guys take care. Be safe and be secure.